Does this not make you want to like live here? Um, especially with the rain in London right now. I yes, would have to move on to it. Or I want to do this every day. I just want to live in Mallorca. So our flight got cancelled. Both flights. Thank goodness, not just one of us. So we're staying. We have spent the last three hours trying to rebook these flights. Thank goodness we finally had this amazing guy at BA who took our separate bookings, put us onto the same booking, sorted our flight, but we don't know where we're staying. There's room tonight for us here at Zell, and they've said, yep, yeah, absolutely, the room's yours, which is so amazing, like nice to know, you know, where we're gonna be tonight. And then it's an adventure. So the rain has also stopped as well, so we should definitely go out. But yeah, welcome to the second Mallorca vlog. We're stranded in the Balearics. What a shame. So I feel like I should give you some <laughs> We're really sad about it as you can tell. No, I feel like no, I should give gone, you some we've context. Had a lot of drama this morning. So there's no flights until the 31st. Today is the 27th. So we're stuck here until Thursday. We don't really know what we're doing, but we're, we're taking this as a sign from the world that it's time to explore. And if you've been following my vlogs for the last couple weeks or even like couple months, you'll know this has probably been sent to us for a reason. The universe, I'm a big believer in fate. Like you don't mess around with fate. There's a reason that the universe didn't want us to get on that flight. Completely. Or there's a, re a reason that they, the universe wanted us to stay here, yeah. which I'm going with because you know, I've, I've literally spent the whole, whole last vlog saying, I love it here. I want to live oh, here. Let's, um, I let's did extend. this. Let's I'm so longer. sorry. You manifested it. I did it. manifest it. But it means we now have the time to go and explore areas that we weren't going to have time to. And we just need to figure out really where we're going to stay from tomorrow night. But for now, let's go on a hot girl walk. And if you do like vlogs, especially vlogs like this that are chaos. Also, if you haven't watched the last vlog where you, you, you dipped out halfway through. There were a lot of giggles. You have to go and watch that vlog. No. 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 Read this. No. 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 Oh my god. No. Read it. No, we have to cool down. We have to go down. Is that from? That can't, no. Because I've hidden the note, by the way, so don't be looking in the background of this vlog for it, but I can't and I won't. I can't. Right, let's go. I also should probably say, if you haven't been watching my vlogs and you're like, wait, how can you just stay in another country for an extra week? I had this like weird limbo time anyway. And we've actually spent the last hour trying to like rearrange all our work things. I was actually supposed to be having a new coil fitted on Wednesday because basically I got a new one fitted in January. I've been having the worst problems. So I'm basically having a new one put in, uh, but not now, I guess. So I, I need to, that I wasn't able to sort that one today. I need to call the NHS tomorrow but it's also a bank holiday so it's just one of those things but yeah we've just been rearranging haven't we all the work the stuff universe telling Emily that she should take her contraception out to have a baby no absolutely not no. we're mid walk and Em has found the only open froyo shop of course it's very hard this is very on brand but we've just stopped into I don't know if you can see my bag, I don't think so. We've just stopped into the grocery store and picked up some bits for tonight, some snacks and some like presents to take home. I don't know when we're going home, really. Well, the 31st. I don't know if we're going to be back at the supermarket before we go home. And there was something I really wanted to get for a member of my family. So I was like, I'll grab it now. What'd you get? I'm getting everything. I'm getting the sprinkles. Oh, and then some Kit Kat. It's dinner time and it's so cold. I'm literally wearing a hoodie, a long sleeve t-shirt, joggers. I don't know what the situation is going to be down there. What have you forgotten? Your vlogging camera. Wait, my hair bubbles come out. <laughs> What's going on? You look gorgeous, sir. Thanks. You made me feel Oh, so the bubble, I think the bubble's falling down my back. You made me feel so No, I'm so, so confused. Young. Can you see the bubble? She makes me feel so yeah. Is there a hair bubble anywhere? Oh, I hate it when this happens. No. Hate, hate, triple hate. <laughs> well, anyway, we're going for dinner. Oh, it's bubble. very cold. The lobby was so vibey See, earlier because like, there were so many people down there. Like, you know when just somewhere is really alive? Yeah. So I think it's going to be like that tonight. I think it's going to be quite nice. I was saying to Em, it's really sad that it's raining and storming and causing so many problems for everyone. And I'm sure, you know, coming away is gutting being somewhere like this. But I do love the camaraderie of 
bad weather. Good, I know that's so rogue. I'm like, where is the bobble? For staples, we know it here very well now, don't we? We love it. It's the alioli for me. The alioli with the bread. We've got the tomato salad with no tuna. It's actually a tuna salad. And then we've gone for the burrata, which is my favourite. Last time we've got some crisps. Some <laughs> artichoke. And she recommended this. I don't know what it is, but it has an egg on it and I love egg. So this looks great. We're back at the grocery store. And want some chocolate. We want some chocolate. I really want some dark chocolate. I got the best compliment of my life tonight. She got told she looks like Sophia it's Boo. It's the second time it's happened to me, and I actually look like a rodent. This is my. I like, think from the other this side. I think it's from the other I side. I look really ugly tonight. This is my first ring. It's your first ring. Oh, look at that milk shake. No. Guys, there's just trees on the floor everywhere. It's so crazy. There, there, down there. Ah. Guys, the amount of chocolate that I have bought is obscene, but it's my chocolate drawer at home. So, I got, was in my new house, Milka Alpine. I got Milka Caramello, Caramelio, Milka Triple, Milka Tuck. I love Tuck Bistics, but I actually just dropped this one and it snapped. Milka Oreo Sandwich, Milka Lou. I don't know how you pronounce that. They're great biscuits, though. Milka Oreo, Milka Chips Ahoy, and then I also got a Nestle White. A Nestle Jungly, and then this Milka one, and also found something that looks very much like a peanut butter cup. Oh, and we also got this Milka wafer. Honestly, I spent about 20 euros on chocolate today, but you know what? It's fine, and it's all going to be part of the charm of the new house, and it's going to make the chocolate drawer look wonderful. Good morning. Happy Monday. The sun is back out. It's supposed to be quite windy this morning, but actually, it feels fine. This feels like another day on holiday so we're actually checking out Ozel today so we need to figure out where we are going to go i think we're gonna head towards palmer a little bit maybe but we still haven't completely decided i think that would be like the breakfast conversation but we're gonna head down get some breakfast go for a hot girl walk and then yeah i don't know We'll see. Today is really not going to plan. We've just booked a new hotel, but oh my goodness. <gasps> yeah. She's just falling over. <laughs> we, we're a bit delirious. So I'm all packed up and we are heading off. We've actually booked a hotel in the center of Parma because we want to go and do like Parma Old Town. And I don't know, I just feel like it, we've been given this crazy opportunity to do so many of the things that we wanted to do but didn't have time for. So we're really like grabbing this time and, oh no, there's a smudge on the camera. We're really grabbing this time and make like the most of the situation. And yeah, we're gonna go to the bakery we wanted to visit. We're gonna go and eat at the restaurants yeah, we wanted to eat at. at so I think we're really making the best of what could have been a nightmare situation. Although I do know, oh, I haven't even updated you. So there's air traffic strikes in the UK now. So there's literally no planes in the sky. This is after all the storms. This is for something else. So I don't know if we're even gonna get on our flight on Thursday, but hopefully by then everything will have, you know, evened out, but yeah kind of wild really and i do really feel sorry for everyone that's kind of gone to the airport we know a few people that did that are now in other hotels and just kind of sitting put like we are so yeah i mean there's worse places to be stuck isn't there i'm like very much not sad about it so we are the lucky ones yeah we've arrived at our new destination we've gone from beachfront hotel to city center hotel we're at the inside by melia in parma and we've got our lovely room and we're very excited because we're gonna go and find find a bakery aren't we that's what we're starting we're with we're basically going to discover Parma. i think i was last here two years ago so obviously there's some new things and i didn't actually get the chance to try that many places whilst i was here so i'm actually really excited we're gonna go for a wander like i said find a bakery and then we've booked did we book it yeah we booked it we've booked a pizza restaurant for dinner that comes highly recommended i think i might just run the straighteners through my hair it might does my hair look puffy or does it look okay okay i might just leave it there who cares? We're gonna go, yeah, and explore. I don't know, we met a few people at reception that were also checking in for the same reasons and one of them was really stressed out and freaking out and the other one was very much the same attitude as us, like thank goodness we're okay and thank goodness we have somewhere to stay. So, I mean, I think to be honest, that everyone's gonna be a bit here, there and everywhere over the next few days here, but we'll see what happens. People at reception also did say to us uh, that they've heard that the air traffic problems won't be fixed for a week. 
But I don't know if... Did they say that? Yeah, but I don't know if that means things won't be back to normal and things won't have caught up for a week. I think we'll be fine. But anyway, if not, we're not, and it just is what it is. But shall we go? Let's go. Let's go. We've just come up to the rooftop on the hotel, and I was ready to be really disappointed with the rooftop because when we checked in, someone said something about not being able to go up there, and I was like, oh, can't we use it? Oh, no, he just wanted to go downstairs, so I completely miss her. The pool's over there. I'm not going to show you too much because there's lots of people who swim there, but look at the view. Isn't this crazy? It's so light and bright. What do you think? I don't like it. It's, it's so very cool. different, but it's lovely. Yeah. It reminds me of Barcelona. Yeah, and this is like, there's like a sun deck up here and there's uh, like day lounges. We'll have to come back when there's no one up yeah, here. Definitely. I feel bad filming for people. I know, I know. Yeah, I'm going to get a cinnamon bun. I think it's that one. <gasps> is this cardamom bun? Oh my goodness, that would be amazing. It's so easy. So, so, but I want to come back and see if they have any kind of chocolate no, tomorrow. Sorry. This is my cinnamon bun. I got a little tofu as well. Mountain coconut. Mountain coconut. Mountain coconut. I think it's really cool. I wonder what it's going to taste like. Oh, it's cakey. Mm. Good. Mm -hmm. So we've come to the oldest bakery in Parma. We appear to be just doing a bakery tour this afternoon, which wasn't the plan, but then again, was any of this. But did you say they do a Basque cheesecake here? So they do a Basque cheesecake, it looks absolutely amazing. What, are they Florentines? Is Florentines, they, they, they look, look really so good. good. I wonder if those were the ladder at Wednesday. You very kindly bought me. Oh yeah, she was sad the other week. I was sad So I turned up to meet her and I bought her chocolate and she cried. I cried, I actually sat and cried. <laughs> okay, I should we go in? Yeah. Should we go? We've had a couple hours of wandering around and I did a little bit of damage in Massimo. I haven't run out of clothes, but I Ha have run out of clothes. I packed atrociously. I literally packed two daytime dresses, one pair of shorts, one top, and then my evening outfit. So I was like, that's fine. My suitcase is full. I don't even know what it's full of, but it's full uh, with nothing to wear. So I got a couple pieces, like just some tops to pair with the shorts that I have and the skirt I have. So hopefully that'll be okay. I'll show you when we get back to the hotel. If not, I'll show you when I get back to England. But yes, I, uh, bit light on the whole clothing situation. You're the same, aren't you? You're running out of clothes. I'm running out of clothes. I definitely need some more clothes. Just went into the church and lit a candle. Oh. I know I like whenever I go. It's so nice. That's so there. special. It's like the most beautiful church. I'm not overly religious, but I love them. Mm. Just going so beautiful. I went into the craziest church from in Tangier. I know from Chopping Church. We're on a constant, constant tangent. I actually wish I vlogged in Tangier. This was crazy. I went into a multi faith church. Um, so it had Hebrew next to like, I didn't even know, like, uh, the Bible was then there, and then there was, it was crazy. Churches are amazing. But right? do you they not are. think it's crazy to see like, the merging of faiths in one yeah. place? Like the respect. That's special. Yeah, it was, it was a crazy place, and I was talking to the guy that kind of looks after the church, and he was saying, he was like, yeah, it's just such a special place. He's like, can you feel it? I was like, no, I can't. Like, I yeah. really could. If you go in there, like, it's, it's really nice. It's I've actually so been nice. in there before. Like really two years ago. One. But we are actually gonna head and go and get some pizza. Yeah, from I've church to pizza. I've been craving pizza. I've been pizza, no spicy yeah. food. No, I've been craving pizza for the last like four days, but we really wanted to make the most of the food at the hotel, but the restaurant was really, really lovely, Better Beach. So yeah, we're now wandering to a pizzeria that we've been highly recommended, and I'm so ready. And Em looked at me earlier, and she was like, you want your own pizza, don't you? And I was like, yes. She's like, so we're not splitting pizza and pasta? I was like, mm, I don't really want to. No. I'm livid, I was like, please split. We can get two pizzas, and a pasta if you really want. And a pasta. We'll get a shared pizza. I'll get a pizza. You get, I do want some pasta. So we've just sat down for dinner. We've come to a pizzeria called Santa Chiara, I think. I'll put it on the screen. But this came highly recommended. We've ordered some, um, well, it said fried mozzarella, but in pizza dough. So what do you think? They're going to be like mini calzones, I think, or something like that. Yeah, a bruschetta. I got a like salami pizza and Em got a pasta. For oh, Andrew and Anna. She got a pasta, so I'm very. Was that it? Oh, we didn't get the focaccia. No, because we're getting dessert. Because we're getting. Ooh, the desserts look insane. We're those people that sit on the Instagram scrolling, but yeah, I think it's gonna be good. I think this is gonna. You know when something's really gonna like satisfy craving? That's what I feel. I'm ready. So this is the deep fried mozzarella. It looks so good. I didn't know whether to get a margarita pizza or a pepperoni, and I went for the pepperoni because I was like, this kind of great, I don't know, it's like the other one, you know? Oh. Had a what? A little pizza cutter in there. All right, this is dinner. I salami pizza with extra cheese, and then we got the pasta. Mmm. This looks insane. These are our puddings. We've got basically a chocolate fondant that's got kinder in the middle and then these are like mini donuts but with pizza dough 
and then Kinder Nutella on top. There we go, and let's have this out. Look at that. Good morning from Parma. We're still here, and I know I said earlier in the vlog we managed to like reschedule and cancel a lot, but we still have some calls this morning. So we're gonna head out, grab a coffee, come back, and then we have some calls to do. And then we're actually moving out of Parma. Well, we're gonna spend the whole day here, right? We're gonna enjoy Parma. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, and then we're gonna head back along to Portals. We've got a lovely hotel, and we're gonna get back on our like beach grind. <laughs> Um, we go from city girl yeah, to beach girl. We've loved being in Palma and obviously there's so much to do, but we're kind of here to be in the sea and like we live in a city. So we're like, you know what? We're gonna go back to the whole beachy vibe uh, for the last couple nights and it is going to be wonderful. I can't believe I'm saying this, but we went back. I tried everything on and I actually didn't have to make any returns from yesterday's. And then Em wanted to go and try some things on and then I tried some things on and I was like, oh, it's my okay. fault. I wanted to go back. So I went into the men's store and wanted to look at their knitwear and I actually got a really nice grey cashmere jumper for such a good price. I love my navy Uniqlo one but they didn't have a, like a grey one that I liked so yeah I'm very happy to have got that jumper but we just stopped at a little lunch place and now we're going to go to this ice cream shop that is apparently the most famous, the best in Parma and we're right by it so we thought perfect we'll do that and then we're going to head to Portals to our next hotel. What did you get? I got banoffee and stracciatella. She got banoffee and stracciatella. Guys Guys, we've just checked into our hotel room. Let me just turn the TV off. And we are so happy. We've both just walked in and screamed. Yeah, so we almost had the terrace one, but it sold out just before we booked it. Okay, let me give you a quick tour. Oh, we're so excited. So, you walk in, and this is what you see. This is the bathroom. This is so nice, Em. And then we walk through. <laughs> this is the living room. And then moving around, we have the bedroom space. And then we have like a little kitchenette with a coffee machine i'm so happy and look at the view of portals we've got the balcony oh this is stuns i am so happy we can see over the tennis court oh that's a nice pool i wonder what that's for do you think that's for an apartment building it must be because there's nobody there who i bet they're bougie apartments but yeah how gorgeous is this oh so happy. I'll link down below where we're staying. This is their junior suite room, right? Yeah, that's why we have all the extra space. But we, look, one of us can have this. And then one of us can have, like, that desk. Ooh! Guys, the shop outside of our hotel is literally a British supermarket. Look, they've got everything. I think it's something to do with Iceland, it said outside. I don't know, but look, everything. No way. Golden syrup in LA is like $12. It's wild. Molasses. Crazy. They literally have everything. It's officially happening. I am outfit repeating. She's an outfit repeater. I'm an outfit repeater. I actually do have a different dress I could wear that I haven't worn, but it's just white and I wear it all the time from Zara. And I really like this, so I'm wearing it again. I'm going to bring my Goyard bag. I think last time I wore it, I wore the Palen. And I've just redone my hair. I need to brush it out. But you know what? I feel great. I've got it on my Oran sandals, so it is a little different, but it's Not fine. It's fine. Well, no, but we're on what like on the same trip. I know. I'm like, I know. ooh. And normally I would be prepared and have some other ones, but that's just how the cookie comes. Guess crumbles. what? Emily almost made us bring hand luggage on this trip. I did, didn't I? Imagine and then we, we were that. like, haha, no. The first trip ever with hand luggage, and the first trip ever where we get literally our trip Stuck. extended by <laughs> two, like an entire double trip. Yeah. I think we're actually here longer now than the start of the trip. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. But you know what? We did bring enough of pants because i don't know about you but girl what girl math with pants double plus maybe four pairs so i'm fine you fine yeah i love pants so this is dinner and we've got some garlic prawns and we've got a tomato salad with some tuna and then we obviously have some bread and aioli if you wonder what we did when we get back from dinner this is it we lay on tiktok and we send each other tiktok <laughs> i was just laid down with Emily. You send me a TikTok and now I'm no. in a TikTok hole. We were walking up the stairs in silence, watching TikToks, and I was sending her TikToks. So she was like, wait, what? We locked ourselves out of the room. Oh. Um, and we went down and spoke to the guy in reception who checked us in. So and he was saying, we didn't realise, that this is a family-owned and family-run hotel. And it's rammed right now because of, obviously, all the delays and everything. And he said, to be honest, we'd rather it normal. He said, it's too much. He's like, 
like the owner's working full time at the moment. He's like, everyone's coming in to try and help. He's like, we'd rather it normal, which was actually, I don't know, it was quite a cool conversation just to find out that it's a family run hotel because we couldn't understand why the rates were so good and why like the bathrooms are so nice and you get so much space, but that makes sense. Yeah, we've had a lovely night. We've planned our day for tomorrow. We're gonna go and explore Portal's village Ooh, and we're gonna yes. get up and see the sunrise. I'm Googling it. And then in the evening tomorrow, we're gonna try and go for dinner at that restaurant that everyone goes to in Mallorca oh, yeah, that's over the bridge. I don't remember the name, but yeah, it's been um, on our hit list for a long time and we're here. So I'm gonna get unready and head off to bed and I will see you bright and early in the morning to go and see the sunrise. Good morning, good morning. We're up and out and we've just grabbed some coffees at Coco's Deli. Oh, we're on the wrong road. We're walking down to a different beach this morning and we're gonna work out, but I mean, look, our whole plan this morning has gone wrong. We were gonna get up and go and watch the sunrise. So we woke up at 6.30 and it was so foggy that we were like, there is not gonna be a sunrise today. We were just so, tired as well. Yeah, and we were also very tired. We were like, you know what? Not today. So we decided to get up and walk to this deli, which we've done, and then we're gonna do like a little workout when we get back, and then we're gonna go, I think, down to the beach. So we just decided whether we want to go to this beach or the beach we went to yesterday. We're doing a beach recce. We're doing a beach And also I think it would be, you know, a shame just to go back to the same place when we have more to explore. If you think I'm going home, you are wrong. Well, no, you're right, I have to. But, oh my goodness, have you ever seen anything so dreamy? I actually can't. So we got some little snackies. We got this Snickers bar one, which looks great. I think that we're gonna have to eat them all now or they're gonna, gonna melt. Them out, they're gonna melt. We've got a brownie and then we've got some balls, like power balls. This spot was so us. I know, it's like a vegan, healthy, Deli. Look at this. This is bomb. the hazelnut one. We're back from our little morning adventure and we are off. Well, actually, back to the beach that we found. We've come, got our bikinis on, got all ready. It's obviously exactly the same that I've been wearing the whole trip because we're stuck. But yeah, it looks like an absolutely gorgeous day. And I think we might actually pop past the uh, deli we went into earlier and well, it's more like a cafe and go and get another coffee uh, just because it was actually really, really good. And I'm like, ooh, I kind of want another one. We're at the beach. We've just been chilling and we were about to go for a swim. We did stop off at the deli on the way and get another brownie. And we got the banana bread, which I didn't love. The banana bread. It was okay. It was a little bit dry, but the thing that was really good is the brownie. Yeah, the brownies were so sweet. good. We've and I had a really had good to... smoothie, actually. Yes, well, juice, wasn't it? Juice. Yeah, yeah juice. juice. And then, yeah. I mean, I don't know what we're gonna do for actual lunch. Maybe yeah. we'll go back, but. I wanna swim now. I kinda wanna go into that little spot over there. Yeah, we should Google it. It looks really cute. So, guys, we've just finished up a lovely sea swim and just sat out to kind of dry off a little bit. But I think we're gonna head to the hotel now and get ready for dinner. So, we're gonna go to this restaurant, which the name I, I just can't for some reason remember. You know, when things just don't stick in your head. I have no idea. Actually, you know what? I think I do have a dress I can wear that I haven't worn yet. But I don't know if it's too daytime. So, I'm gonna have to try it on and see what I think. But this is one of those spots. I mean, I feel like I briefly told you earlier. But yeah, it's just been the most perfect day. Like, you know, those like really surreal days when feeling all salty and I need to like grab some lays on the way back up to the hotel, that kind of vibe. Oh, I feel amazing. I've just had a shower, washed my hair and I feel like finally perfected the flick under with my straightener. So I just need to brush it out. But I'm at that point in the trip where my foundation and my bronzers aren't quite dark enough. So my makeup's looking, I don't know, not quite how I like it. Maybe it's translating okay on camera, but look at this. Oh, I've got this gorgeous dress on that I didn't actually get to wear in the first portion of the trip. I don't know if it's a bit daytime-y for tonight, but I'm excited and I'm really hungry. Are you hungry? Tell the what just happened. Um, yeah, can I show them? So this cockroach on the floor we're gonna call Derek. Uh, Derek is there because he was in Em's bun that she only found because she took her bun out. Needless to say, hair- We're not hair... like a bun from the shop that I bought to eat, like a custard bun. We're talking a bun on, on the top of on the top head. On the top of my head, like the pineapple on top of my head. I felt something hard. I thought, oh, that's a bit hard. It must be a twig from laying on the beach. No, no, Derek has traveled with me from the beach to the hotel while I was sat on bed editing my vlog. Derek was in my hair. Needless to say, hair has been washed. Needless to say, M screamed. M is traumatized. Emily agrees that I should be traumatized. Yeah, this I'll give you. She's very dramatic sometimes but I will give her this. But you didn't cry. It takes one to know one, baby. <laughs> um, I, didn't, to cry. I didn't cry. And guys, comment below. Would you cry if you had a huge Derek in your hair? Because <laughs> I feel disgusting. So this is the dress. I don't know how well you can see it. It's backlit. But um, what did you call me? 
Grecian goddess. Grecian goddess. She's a Greek goddess. Grecian. She's Grecian. <laughs> How would you say it? We've had so many things on this trip that we're like, she pronounces it one way and I pronounce it another. It's so funny. We're from. Am I still the Australian as mine? Yeah, we're from completely different parts of the country, which is probably why. Can you believe? that it is our last night. Yeah. I don't know about you, but it doesn't feel like it to me. And I don't want to say that and jinx our journey home, but it doesn't feel like it. This is actually like our second last night that we've, I've been through the anxiety and the jitter of this. Yeah. And now we're going through it again. I genuinely don't feel like we're leaving tomorrow. I would actually rather stay. My wallet's saying no. And we don't know if we're actually gonna get compensation to cover our accommodation, <laughs> do we? So who knows? If anyone has any experience with having like a canceled flight, delayed flight, and that would be so helpful. I mean, you know, it's one of those things, but I don't know. No one has given us any info, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, but I guess we'll see and I'll let you know when we finally figure it out. We've read online that it takes a few months, so I don't know, but we're just waiting for a taxi right now. So we got in and we started with some bread and then my favorite, the prawns. And following on, we got the tuna tartar and then we've ordered some sea bass, I believe as well. How good does this look? I'm very, very this happy. Is my view. This is the dream. Yeah. Isn't this kind of mental? It's gonna look even crazy as the sun sets. So we have our main, we've got sea bass, some potatoes and some veggies. You know what? I think this sea bass looks maybe better than yesterday's. It looks insane. It's so good. This is pudding. We've got some chalky mousse. Chalky mousse. Very excited to try this. Ready? <laughs> it's fresh. This is the fresh I've got to add. Um, honestly, it sums me up. I broke some bread apart and there was alioli on it and it went all over me. Did you have a cockroach in your butt? <laughs> no, I did not. We just finished up dinner at the restaurant and we're having a lovely moment together on the beach. So good. Last night's food was better. Last night's food and vibe was better. But yeah. the fish was good here. But we had we got really unlucky tonight. We had a waitress that just wasn't the vibe. And then she wasn't very right. two of yeah. the other waitresses, like wait one waiter and one waitress they came over. They were so nice. And this one woman was just not having it. At one point she took my menu away from me and I then think, bought it back. Think, but we're just having a moment on the beach. This is literally what we're looking at. I've just been Everyone else's personal photographers, you know, of people I've actually Oh, the couple! It's making me really happy. It gives me such a kit. But it's a beautiful night. And I think, should we go in the supermarket after? Should we just go to the supermarket and should we get Frodo? Oh, I would love some Frodo. We're going to have to go back to Palmanova. It's on the way back oh, to the hotel. Oh, we're going to have to if we must. I don't know if I can walk an hour back from Palmanova to Port Towers. No, we're going to walk back. We taxi. <laughs> No. Should we go to Zal and say hello? Should we go get a cookie? Oh, should, we should we go and get a dark chocolate I don't think the cookie place will leave me open. Should we go see your... The, the barista, the guys! The barista, the, the barista didn't send the note. I'm guys, not going to get into who sent the note, but so that well night... That, I was like, what? Why do they think it was the barista? Yeah, it wasn't the barista, but we were shook it, and we didn't find out until the next morning who it was, which is why I didn't explain. I'm not going to explain because it just feels tad, a tad inappropriate. I'm at that phase of my life where I'm like completely single. I know. And I can I can date who I want to date and sometimes people surprise you. Yeah, okay, sorry. Right, Em wants me to get a video and she's going to look wonderful because the sun, like the sky. I'm a photographer. Morning, good morning. It's 6.30 a.m. We are up and out, off to watch the sunrise and it's starting and I think it's going to be a crazy one. Can you see? Look at that. I think this is going to be crazy impressive, so we're going to head down to the beach. We just got to the beach and we have about 10 minutes until the sun starts coming up. How crazy is this? Look, and there's even someone in the sea. Can you see the moon over there going down? And look, we have a full 180. Oh, well, I guess the view, the horizon. So crazy. Well, there we have it. The sun has risen. How are you feeling on this fine day, Em? It's beautiful. Are you ready to swim now? Is that what you want to do? I'm excited. <laughs> oh no, I'm excited to eat actually. You're excited for what? To eat. To eat, yeah. Really. It's time. Em's going to swim. I'm that not. was insane and now I'm going to swim. I would, but then we're going to go and have a quick gym session and I don't love the idea of putting gym kit on a salty body. Yeah, that's going to be quite disgusting. Yeah, so I'm going to wait until later. But we are going to swim later as well. Right, let's go. Well, we're going to run out of time. Well, my friends, the time has come. I am all packed and we are heading down to the beach. We've got actually quite a good day planned, haven't we? I'm considering we go we home today. Lucky girl. We saved a lot for today, but all in one area. So there's this place we've been going to in Portal's village called Coco's Deli, and we've gone like twice a day. I showed you briefly. We're actually gonna stop in for lunch today and as like our pre-flight dinner. So 
The plan is, so it's 12, 12 now, so we obviously got up, saw the sunrise, we've done a little workout, we've packed, we're gonna go and spend the nicest part of the day on the beach and in the sea, and then we're gonna head up, do Coco's en route, back up to the hotel. If we have time, we're gonna head into Portal's port, and then head up, we've booked a shower slot here, and then head to the airport. So it's gonna be a very chill, fun day, probably the most chill day actually that we've had, <laughs> because we, we just packed so much in in the end, we were like, oh, why not? But sometimes not. Today, not. I have to drive home tonight when we land. And yeah, I'm probably not going to get home until like 2, 3 a.m. But it's fine. I'd rather drive home late Thursday night than Friday. Because, you know, getting out of London on a Friday? No, thank you. <laughs> I'm so sorry for the angle. I have no idea where else to put you. But I'm going to give you a little grocery haul. So we went into the supermarket and look what they had. They had coconut. So I was like, oh, if we're doing a bougie shop, then I must. So I got a buffalo mozzarella and I also got some smoked salmon to eat. It's like our picky lunch, but like pre-lunch lunch. But yeah, we're just at the beach, we're set up and then we're gonna eat some bits, head into the sea. Em got some cherries. Em might share the cherries if Emily's nice to her. She also got some tomatoes, so we're gonna have a little like caprese salad on the beach. We actually do have a knife, you know, to cut everything up. You get the knife. I mean, it's the dream, we're living. The sun losses are going on, I can handle it no more. Okay, how do we do this? This is one of those ones. How to open? No, there's a little thing in it. I'm just not strong enough. All I wanted was coconut need, water. Might need to ask them at the restaurant. Look at this, they're little balls. But like, of like actual great mozzarella. I did it. I basically used my water bottle, the bottom of it, to bang it and it worked. I'm over the moon. I suddenly had this moment of realization of, oh my goodness, I can do that. And it's insane. We're back at Coco's to have our leaving lunch and I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I don't want to leave. And it's got this beetroot latte thing. It looks more like a smoothie that's so interesting. And I got a little cortado. It's a soy milk beetroot latte. It looks amazing. Oh, you nice. try it. Mm. Delicious. Good, may I try? Let me guess, you got a cortado. I did, but have you tried the beetroot um, like latte from Grind? No, I haven't actually. It's amazing. Oh, that's so good. That's the matcha, that's refreshing, mm. isn't it? So this is lunch. We've got the acai bowl, which is like a nutty one. We've got peanut butter, mm -hmm. some cashews, a feta wrap with chicken, which looks amazing. And then a beef burger with some fries. This looks so yummy. I'm going to try a little nibble. I love this one. Mmm. Mm. We've got lots of tomatoes in this wrap. Oh, You'll yes. like it. And what does Emma love? Emma loves tomatoes, Emily doesn't. So I don't know. It's got feta in it though, be careful. Mm. Is it pesto? Feta. I thought it had feta in, maybe not. Yeah, it does. Let me try. Stay out. Your food's really yummy. Oh, and just like that, our time has come to an end. We're just in a courtesy room right now, getting showered and ready to go to the airport. I'm so sad. Uh, the fact I have to go and drive all the way home tonight is making me feel a little bit sick. But yeah, I'm all showered and fresh and I feel great. I've got leggings, not like leggings, joggers in my bag for the plane because I cannot travel in shorts. It feels like a sin. I'm and I've, here. And I've got a hoodie as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll do a little bit of a debrief when I'm home but time to figure out what's next for me I guess <laughs> who knows this wasn't even meant for me so I wonder what's coming next we're at the airport in the lounge and we brought some brownies with us from Coco's to eat also get some work done and we actually got to the airport and uh, how long did you say it took us to get through six minutes six hours it was yeah, so hours. quick there was no one here we smashed and we came so early because we were so scared but it was fine and I also bought some snacks I'll give you a haul in a moment Okay, let me give you a duty-free chocolate haul. I never buy chocolate or duty-free, but today we were clearly hungry. And you should never shop while you're hungry. So I got a bag of Buenos. These are like Bueno minis. I thought these would be great for my like ninja creamy Bueno recipe. I thought it was like a mix-in because I had to smush up actual Buenos last time which was very messy. We also got a face mask because we thought we should do this on the plane. I love this one from Cordley and yeah, we got that to share. We were gonna get sheet masks, but this was literally the same price as two sheet masks. So we were like, mm, we're gonna get that. And then, I've never seen these. These are dime snacks. So they're like the, um, you know, like the Cadbury Crunchy Rocks, that kind of thing. So we've got a couple of those for the chocolate cupboard in my house. I think that's everything. Yeah, that's everything. Everyone's being told to sit down. I think everyone's a little bit keen. If you could please to get take off. your seat. Sit down. Sit down, buddy. What a ride that week 
was in the end. I can't believe it went from a three night trip to a seven night full on like full-blown holiday it's wild but i'm back and we have some sunny weather for the upcoming week which is crazy but i thought i'd show you a couple of pieces i got from massimo whilst i was there i don't have all of them the rest are in my suitcase but i have three here and i just thought i'd show you so this was the first one i have worn this as you can see it's a bit creased but i just thought this was cute for like a little throw over jumper you know when you go out in the evenings and you're like do i take a jacket do i not do i take a jumper i thought that was perfect for that i got a few vest tops this being one again just like super comfy but this is kind of I don't know if you can see it's double layered so it's just it looks a bit more put together can you hear that bird it looks a bit more put together and then obviously the pink one that I did show you I actually wore this whilst we were away and I got this in grey but in men's so it's a bit like more oversized and then I think I probably got two more vest tops they're like not a crazy shop but enough for it to be like ooh, this is exciting and like new to my wardrobe and I just know they're gonna be basics that I wear super frequently but yeah that's the end of the Mallorca vlog. I really hope you enjoyed that crazy ride. Next up, the next video you see will be a house update video. And then from there, who the heck knows? But thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you've made it all the way to the end because that is an achievement. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.